Alright, yo, what is up, guys? It's David Elon here. I haven't been feeling too well, so I haven't been recording many videos, so I'm laying in bed right now. But I just wanted to go over this problem I solved a few days ago. I posted it in my Slack channel, which is actually in the description. If you guys want to join that, where I post daily week goal problems we discuss and solve, and some of them I post videos for. And then lastly, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please. Um, so this one's jump game to medium problem. It reads, given an array of non-negative integers, my dog's moving around the bed, you are initially positioned at the first index of the array. Each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position. Determine if you are able to reach the last index. So they just give us an array, and the value represents how many, basically, steps where we can jump. And we just want to see if we can reach the end. So this one will work because we can jump two to get here, and then one, and one again, and four. We obviously reach the end. And this one doesn't work because no matter what, all three of these, three you reach zero, two you reach zero, one you reach zero. So you just can't reach the end. And then we just have to return true or false. So the intuition on this is the way I, the easiest way I thought of to solve this is if you start backwards. You have to. You don't have to check as many options if you start backwards, because all you have to check is to see if this index plus its value is greater than or equal to the next index, and it, if that is true, then it remains true. So, for example, um, this is the fourth index. Four plus four is greater than. Well, obviously, you're going to reach to the next one. Um, so this is the third index. Three plus one is greater than or equal to four. You, it's, it means you can reach the next um, index or step. So that's the intuition. I hope that made sense. So we just need to code that out now. So so in last position is going to be equal to nums out length minus one because we want the last one. And if so we're going to take the index, so i, or no, we need a for loop first, so for int i equals nums.length minus 1 i greater than or equal to 0, so we want to, we have to check the 0th index as well, so that's why we include 0, and we're going to decrement it because we're going backwards. So if i plus, so we're taking, we're adding nums of i is greater than or equal to the last position. Then the last position is going to be equal to i. So I'm going to explain that last line. So if i, so here's i would be 3, is third index plus nums of i, so 3 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 4. The last position is nums at length minus 1. And then, so that's true, so we're going to update it. So we update the last position, the last good position. If you want to be more specific, you can label this last good position so it makes more sense. And so yeah, you just keep going. So then you decrement it right here. So we go back to the next previous index, 1 plus 2 is greater than the index here, so 3. This is the index, and so let's just run that now. Hopefully that made sense. It's not too hard. Um, oh, I didn't even put a 9. Alright, now let's try it. Oh, and then we just have to return... Um, Oh, return last good. So if it's zero, then we're going to return true. If I can actually click the button. Yep. And so this is just going to be O of n runtime and uh, constant space complexity. O of n runtime just for this for loop. And we didn't have to create any data structure, so it's um, constant runtime. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you guys want me to solve any problems, let me know. 
I'd love to shoot some more videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video.